Hey class, uh, your instructor just giving you a quick video. I uh, just wanted to kind of go over, as you saw, the heading of the post. Uh, it's an urgent video. Um, in, in the past, I've taught this class for quite some time. Um, I cannot stress it enough about following tutorials. I'll have students asking for um, extensions sometimes. I'm not extensions, uh, actual redos. I don't do redos. There's enough information in the Dropbox area with the instructions and attachments to read off of. And also, um, there's enough time during the week to communicate with me any questions. And there's also the tutorial. When I give a tutorial, there's usually an example. Most of the time, there's an example in there, or I go through the details of the instructions a little bit more clear. Um, and so I want to make sure, like in this class, there's an outline tutorial um, that um, some lot didn't follow, some didn't follow. I'll say some, not a lot, but some. But it's enough. Inf it's enough worry for me to make this post here. Uh, that if you're not following the tutorials, you're hurting yourself. If you're thinking it's okay, I'll throw something together, you're hurting yourself. If there's something in the directions and in the tutorials that says no quoting and you throw large quotes, you're, you're going to get a point deduction, major, sometimes even up to a zero. Um, this is Psych 255. By now, usually, typically, students should already know a lot of these policies and uh, over quoting and not quoting and paraphrasing and they should know that stuff by now. This is not a 100 level class. So the expectations and the requirements are going to be you're going to be held to those a little bit uh, stricter than somebody that's been at UNB 103 level. OK, uh, it's a major concern for me because um, if I was a student and I, I went I was an online student for um, masters and most of my doc doctoral none of my professors ever created a tutorial for me i had to learn everything on my own which is the best way but what i do is i show the kindness to make these tutorials to benefit you if if my professors did that i would be jumping all over it uh, from day one so remember i teach about four or five classes different classes at this school, Grand Canyon. Each of my classes has tutorials each week. I make tutorials every week to make sure you're successful so you have the tools. Okay, I look at that as me training you on how to be a student and also teaching you how to be a student. Um, if you don't watch the tutorials and you don't follow them, you're going to be lost. And then you're going to message me and say, why did I receive these point deductions? Please explain. So from here on out, if you reply and say that, I'm just going to say, thanks for asking. Watch the tutorial from last week compared to your assignment that you submitted. Because by now, students should be following this tutorial. Um, there are no redos. So please make sure you're following the tutorials each week. OK? Don't just look at them and think it's a suggestion. Look at it as, OK, this is how I should do it. OK, he's teaching me how to make a PowerPoint. He's teaching me how to do this outline. Um, this is showing me how I could write this essay because I got something in the future about writing the academic essay and using a template and formatting it and going over key information on your uh, essay that's due in week seven. So if you choose not to go through it and you get a really bad grade, I'm gonna direct you to the tutorials on top of adding my comments and feedback um, and you're going to have to figure that out on, on figuring out when are you going to start using the tutorials, and you should. I know it sounds a little harsh, and I'm not trying to come across as somebody is trying to be rude or harsh, but um, for me, I love passing students. I love looking at the assignments, and even if there's small deductions or there's effort, I can grade based off of effort. But effort is, is you got to understand, effort is comparing what the student submits to the requirements. If I see effort in following that, you're good. You might get some point deductions, but it will it'll be minimal. But if there's no effort to follow the directions, there's no effort to follow the tutorials or requirements, you're going to get major point deductions probably. 
Um, so this is not me trying to be like mean or rude or anything like this. This is me actually pleading with every student to be sure you follow the tutorials because they're gonna help you. Let me help you by following this by you following the tutorials. It'll help you tremendously. So it's a concern that I'm addressing, and I hope this is taken well. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know because I really care about your uh, your education and. I really care that you pass the class. I really care that you get the best grade possible. Um, I know every single student I've talked to or have had are A students. I, I don't doubt that. But it, it has to do with how you perform on your assignments. And so allow me to help you by following these tutorials. Can't stress it enough, okay? Please let me know if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to help out, thanks.